Hi guys, it's Miss Annette here. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. We're going to have Tiny Tap Story Time and we're going to read a book about why does it thunder and lightning. Hopefully, the next time you hear those big loud sounds at night and it's thundering and you see the lightning outside, it won't be so scary because you'll know what makes it happen. So, why does it thunder and lightning? What a storm. The lightning lights up the sky. The thunder can be heard all around. I wonder what makes lightning and thunder. Are you scared? Who? Me? I bet Raccoon knows. I'll go and ask her. Hi, my friend. Can you tell me what makes lightning and thunder? Do you know? I don't know. Christopher, you asked the hardest questions. Let's start with lightning. It is caused by electricity. We can see electricity, but we can use these magnets to learn about it. Look at the magnets. Each one has a positive and a negative side. When we put the, this magnet next to the other, the magnets come together. That's because the plus side and of one magnet attracts the minus side of the other. Opposites attract. Look, they're moving together. Watch it. Look out. Amazing. Let's turn one of the magnets around. When we use the other end, the two magnets push apart. That is because the sides of the magnets with the same sign do not attract. Now that you know a little about, little about positive and negative, let's see what they have to do with electricity. You and Crow can go up and look at that storm cloud. Let's go! Look at the cloud. A cloud is made up of many, many drops of water. When the drops get big and heavy, they fall toward the earth as rain. Some of the drops have a positive charge of electricity. Some of them have a negative charge. Those drops are negative. Let's look inside the cloud. When a group of drops with a positive, all these little plus signs, comes near a group with a negative charge like these ones that are all little minus signs, then we see a flash of lightning jump between the two groups of drops. It's just like the magnet's opposite attract. Wow! That was some flash! The same thing can happen between two different clouds that come near each other. If a group of drops in one cloud has a plus charge, and a group in the other cloud has a negative charge, lightning can jump between the clouds. See? Minus and plus. Of course! Did you guys know that? Sometimes lightning jumps from a storm cloud to the ground. The earth and a group of drops in the cloud attract each other because they have opposite charges. Lightning is powerful and at times very dangerous. Look, it hit the tree and now the tree is burning. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Now I know about lightning, but what about thunder? All that booming and cracking frightens me. Thunder is just a lot of noise. It is nothing to be afraid of, but Raccoon can explain that better than I can. That was very loud. Yes, it was. Air is made up of tiny parts called molecules. Say, molecules. When lightning flashes, it gives off a lot of heat. This heat makes the molecules start to move and bounce. See? Molecules. Soon, the heated molecules bump into molecules of cold air and make a big air wave. This wave is the sound of thunder, and we hear it after we see a flash of lightning. So thunder is just a noise, a lot of harmless noise. It's harmless. 
I know. Let's review what we know. The drops of water in a cloud can have a positive or a negative charge. When two opposite charges come near each other, a large spark of electricity happens and we see a flash of lightning in the sky. Remember, opposites attract. As the lightning heats the air, the molecules bounce together and make a great air wave, which is the sound of thunder. And it's harmless. Well, now I know what makes lightning and thunder. We do too. Me too. So the next time, guys, you hear the thunder and you see lightning, you have nothing to be afraid of. As you can see, it's harmless. You will be fine. You guys take care, and we will see you next week at Tiny Tap Story Time. Bye.